All right, so I'm on this kick right now trying stuff out with the uh, hog saw. Um, so I tried a, a five foot bar and now I'm going back to a three foot bar. But what I want to see is if this, if this saw can handle um, 404. So I cleaned it up and we're just going to swap it over. And we're going to try some 404 on this thing and see if it works um, and how it handles it. So I do, I see that the, um, the sprocket, the rim sprocket for the 404 has a bigger diameter than this, uh, than the 38. So it's going to be spinning a bit faster. Um, and this already spins pretty fast, so I don't know how much of an effect that's going to have on it. Um, but yeah, we'll be spinning faster and hurling a pretty gnarly chain. So will it handle it? I don't know. We're going to find out. So just uh, maybe. All right. So there it is. It's funny because I've gotten a couple of these Holtz Pharma bars before, and they use the tip like on the uh, small mounts, even on the large mounts. But this 404 uses the large mount style tip on it. So we'll see how this whole thing's going to go. I guess the first thing is to. Get this chain on there. But so far, this uh, this hog is taking everything I've thrown at it. So I'm curious to see, of course, if it's going to take this. One day I'm going to make this thing fail. I haven't yet, but I'm gonna. I do believe I got the oil turned up on this already because we were running the five foot bar. So. getting oil all right <laughs> well let's try this thing out all right it's another one of those cases where I'm losing light and I just got to get it done before it gets dark so this is outfitted with a really it's 404 it's like a big chain it's a big fast wheel it's gonna spin faster and cut more than it has before, so I want to see how it goes.
all right so I just wanted to look at these cuts because you can see how rough that is like that 404 is definitely coming through there pretty rough but we're gonna turn up the oiling and see if we can get it to uh, at least cut through there better all right so I filed this thing sharp but pretty aggressive so let's see if it can make the cut with the 404 That is, that is taxing the saw. There is no doubt there. That 404 is uh, putting it to work for sure. So this is how the saw runs when it's under a really heavy load. It'll go about 90 seconds and then it needs a 60 second break. So that's how it works. All right, we tried it with the green works. Now we got that 404 bar and chain on the 95cc whole swarma, so let's give that a try.
This is a 3 8 chain. All right, so I'm always trying to find out things, and what I found out is that the 404 chain, well, the Greenworks finally met its match. Um, it just was too much for it. I think, I think combined with the, it's got a larger rim sprocket, so this thing already spins at like 100 feet per second. Um, so that increased RPM along with this thing just taking a much bigger bite was too much for it, um, and I didn't like it. So as you can see the whole swarm i handled it um but what i will say overall i went back it was about i don't know 33 or so seconds going back to the um the c85 chain um and if we th these two saws with this piped are about equal if if i was to swap that over these two are about the same um, and with this, it was like 45 seconds and that wasn't even a complete cut. Like I, I didn't quite get the whole log. So I'm going to say this, saw, uh, even though this saw can handle the 404, it doesn't like it as much either. Uh, both of these saws prefer to cut with the three eights, um, at least in terms of cutting speed on a big log like that. Smaller stuff, maybe because it's taken a bigger bite, it would be different, but I wanted to find out, and you get to find out with me. So now we know both of these things, C83, and as far as this goes, trying to cut a 30-something inch log with 404, it's no good. It um, doesn't like it. So thanks for watching. Hope it was informative. I learned something. You learned something. We'll, uh, we'll play around some more later.